All right, so we're up here in Rochester Hills, and we're gonna build Abby right here. We're gonna build Abby a pondless waterfall in her existing berm, because she loves to swim. Just joking. So at the top of the water, or at top of the berm here, it'll drop down approximately about a foot, and then it'll drop down another foot, twist back this way, and then maybe uh, we'll split this stream here. Maybe we'll split this middle stream. Who knows, we'll have a basin at the bottom. But stay tuned, we're gonna make some magic happen. Abby, hey puppy. Someone's happy to see us. All right, so we got the solder removed, so now we kind of have a blank slate on what we're doing. Luckily on this uh, property, there's common areas that there are woods, so we're able to get rid of the sod back into there, any excess soils and things like that. There is a small creek that runs behind here, so we just gotta be aware not to dump anything in there. That's very crucial that that stays open. We don't wanna fill in a creek or anything. So what we're gonna have on this project is three aqua blocks and a vault. It's a small six to eight foot long waterfall that'll give double the amount of storage plus a little bit more. So that way the homeowners um, don't have to rush out here with a little bit of splash and evaporation. So we're gonna start digging out the basin, hauling those soils away, and then carving out the streams. We'll then install our piping, our plumbing, a discharge valve, we'll do that on the back side here. So that way, too much excess water from rain or someone overfills it. And in the springtime, when it's time to discharge it, rinse it all out, do a good spring cleaning. The discharge valve is on the back and then they can discharge into the woods. Without further ado, we're gonna start uh, digging out our, our basin itself. All right, so you're probably wondering why we stopped just staring at the hole that we're digging right now. Turn this camera around, I'll show you what we found now. So we hit a high water table here and it's probably not even deep enough to get our aqua blocks in. So we're gonna have to brainstorm how to keep this water out of our hidden basin down below. Sometimes we'll, we'll sink a crock over here and then We'll have a pipe leading to it and have an active sump pump that could discharge water away from the uh, from the basin. Another solution is to dig down and then below the liner we'll actually put a piece of uh, four inch drain tile and then we would run that either out this way or run it out this way until we can daylight the end of it and that will keep the water out of the basin itself. So stay tuned and you'll see what we come up with for our solution. All right, so after the homeowner had come out, we ran through all the options. The only option that was available was to take the basin that we had already dug and move it back into the berm because torrential rains, even though this grade is higher than what it is behind me, um, when it, torrential rain will flow that way. We don't want any water to come down go underneath our aqua blocks. We can't have standing water underneath our aqua blocks because it'll push right up and out hydrostatic pressure. So what we did, move the basin this way, it's gonna shorten up the stream and 
we just gotta carry on. Life without problems is the definition of hell. Okay, as you can see, we've got our basin dug out for the second time. So we didn't hit water on this this time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna switch from the large aqua blocks to small aqua blocks. We'll bring those in tomorrow. That way we didn't have to go as deep. Since we moved it back into the berm, it gained us a little bit more depth so that way we don't have to go as deep and then hit a, a high water table and then try to solve a problem from there. We've got our spillway right here. We're gonna run, we're gonna run plumbing down this side right into our vault that's gonna be sitting down in here. We're gonna run a discharge out the back so that way, again, as I mentioned before, discharge, you can uh, discharge out some of the extra water and you can do a, a spring clean out with a discharge valve. We'll have a drop right out of our spillway basin or our spillway box. Um, it'll come down here. We'll have a nice drop that feeds this side, which is a little bit higher in elevation than this side here. So, you know, it, it's a short stream now. So we're gonna play around with it a little bit. We probably will not be doing a bib liner on here since we're going to have, since our our basin is running long ways this way, um, you're going to see water flowing no matter what. All right, so as you can see, we switched to the small, smaller aqua blocks here. That's going to give us the right amount of volume for, for this shorter stream. We're making final adjustments to the basin so that way there's enough room. Over excavate and then backfill up against the uh, liner and underlayment so that way it tightens up those aqua blocks and makes them very sturdy in the basin itself. Zach is running the plumbing up here. Zach is again the new guy but we're gonna call him Zach the new and improved guy Ooh. because Zach has stepped up on the last so many jobs that we've had uh, I think he's learned a lot. Um, he's coming along. He's been with us for what? How long you been with us? Uh, this is going to be the end of my second year. End of his second year. So, I mean, he's gaining a lot of knowledge. He's taken the Aquascape Academy to better not only himself, but the company as a whole. Keep watching, and uh, we'll have this thing running in a couple hours. Abby, you like it? You like you, Zach. <laughs> 